Hey guys, we're excited to announce the 2018 Secrets of Successful Investors video series that we just started. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. So I love cool, it. Isn't it? it is, man. So uh, we don't want to waste much of your time. No. We want to get right into it. This is about less than 15 minutes, yep. and it's uh, tell us who 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 our first one. Well, is. this is this is Travis and Janie Schur out of right. Las Vegas, Nevada, arguably the most competitive market in the United States for investing, and they are crushing it. Absolutely. And it's exciting, Absolutely. so let's get to it. Yeah, let's go to it. Let's go see what makes uh, Travis and Janie let's tick. Let's do it. Hello, uh, Janie and Travis, how are you guys doing? Hi. We're doing, doing good. Great. Thank you. Thanks for having Thank us, Deb. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Uh, so today we just want to learn a little bit about you guys and we've got some questions here. Tell us a little bit about Las Vegas as a real estate market. So yeah, we, we own the Clark County, um, the Clark County license, which basically encompasses all of Southern Nevada. Nevada's a big state. However, there's not a lot of towns here or is sizable. So Vegas, um, Clark County encompasses all of Vegas, Henderson. Mm -hmm. So we were the uh, obviously first to hit the foreclosure. We're the first on the comeback. So the We Buy Houses has been good, but um, we're Vegas, my wife and I. Okay. <laughs> Clark County. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. And so tell, uh, tell everyone, what is your background? How did you get started in real estate? Well, I got started in 2005 uh, with property management. And then when the market crashed, I got into... REO. I was working for one of the largest REO agents here in Vegas. So I learned a lot from him and his team. And I think that's kind of what helped us become successful in what we do now, managing all these properties. So, so I got, I got involved um, in real estate in 97 doing mortgage loans. Then from 97, we had a pretty good run from 97 to 06, obviously 05, 06 market crashed and my wife advised me I should get my real estate license, which, um, well, because you were the one always saving the deals. So. Right. I, I, was, I, was a little, I was a little apprehensive about that. However, um, got my license in 08 and met up with the local guy here. Um, Vegas was obviously hammered by foreclosures. So met up with the local guy. We went to the uh, local trustee auction and got into the, um, buying and, uh, flipping aspect of it in 09 and kind of been doing that ever since. So what is your business strategy for real estate investing? Is it to buy fix and flip the houses or do you buy and hold them and rent them? Or what kind of strategies do you guys have? In the early days, obviously it's just about fix and flip, make the quick buck, move on down the road. Um, however, as our, as we've gotten older and each deal is uh, sort of showed a, a different um, avenue to wit make money, and with the market, where the market's going, especially in Vegas, uh, we look at every every purchase a little differently. Um, there was a gentleman, Ev, you could probably help me. I think it was Mike out of Tucson, if I remember correctly. Mike Anderson, yeah. Yeah, he, um, one of the homeowners or one of the uh, We Buy Houses meetings he shared with me, he said, you know, listen, you're still young. Um, you have the capability to acquire true net wealth. And that's, I think they have over a thousand rentals, if I remember correctly, I'm not sure. <laughs> when he was telling me how much money they were getting monthly, I was like, wow, you know, um, with your flip, you're only as good as your last flip. So with that being said, my wife and I started to acquire rentals. Um, we kind of have a vacation rental fund because we're obviously living in Las Vegas. We have a, a full-time rental fund for long-term regular rentals. And then we have a fix and flip fund. And we also started the um, subject twos. So Anytime we get a deal, it's how can we make money off it and does it fit into one of those four animals and typically it usually does. Um, how have you guys structured your business? Is it just the two of you or do you have some other folks involved? <laughs> we have other people involved, but usually it's two of us. Yeah, so um, we're going through a lot of growing pains right now. We, um, this has kind of been heavy on our heart in the last couple months. We've, uh, this year we're, we're on track to do over $2 million profit, which we've never done. Um, so it is right now just Janie and I, we do have a full-time buyer, um, but finding the staff, we're kind of at that level, do we go bigger? Um, and going bigger obviously is more, more money, more problems, more headaches. Uh, we start to structure that a little differently, but right now um, 
for the last four years since we've joined We Buy Houses and then even the five or six years prior to that, we, you know, Janie and I just did what we did. We were comfortable, made, made, um, made a good living, but now it's, it's, it's starting to get to a point where it's full time, literally six in the morning till nine o'clock at night. And so we're approaching a new avenue of, of do, you know, growth and taking down different markets and, and doing that, or do we just pull back and, and happy where we are? But something that we'll figure out over the next year or so. Yeah, the, uh, you've, you kind of alluded to this one. The next question is about, you know, kind of what have your results been in the past year or so? It sounds like your business has been growing uh, pretty dramatically in the last few years. Is that true? And how many houses are we talking about in a year? So um, I think last year for the entire year, we did like 47 and year to date, we're already at 46 purchases. Wow. So, I mean, you know, we're, we're substantially larger. Um, the we buy houses has really, really uh, helped that, that model. I think, you guys know I'm a pro Facebook guy. So I think um, all the work we put into Facebook is really starting to pay off now. But yeah, so business is phenomenal. Um, sustainable, I don't know. You know, that's kind of the magic, you know, whatever the trillion dollar real estate question everybody's wanting to know. So Vegas as a whole, uh, I think we're set for a good, you know, two, three year run. After that, I, I, I don't know. So I think we'll be falling back on our rentals, but the We Buy Houses business has, has been phenomenal for us. So uh, just a couple of comments on how, how has the We Buy Houses brand and the system helped you achieve this, this phenomenal growth? Um, I think just being able to brand yourself. Uh, we got involved, obviously, in the early days of the We Buy Houses. Um, so with that being said, it opened a lot of doors. We were able to do a lot of groundwork where it was just home investors and We Buy Houses, right? Those were kind of two big dogs. And now with all these gurus, these um, get rich quick guys, these, uh, I guess, these real estate coaches, you know, they're, they're about branding, they're about building a brand. So I think We Buy Houses was just the name in itself. But overall, the brand has been, um, you know, every year, this year we're at 100% growth. But even in the early days, I mean, 50, 60, 70% growth. Um, so it's phenomenal as far as uh, to answer your question. So uh, just the, the last question is about, uh, and, and I also think you kind of hinted at this, what do you see for the future of real estate there in, in uh, Nevada and, and in general? Uh, what do you think the next couple of years are going to be like? Um, you know, a lot, A, is going to depend on 2020 election. Obviously, that's going to have a big, big sign on it. Um, Fed starting to raise rates anytime I mean, rates is a double-edged sword, right? You know, uh, higher rates, they, they kind of loosen uh, lending guidelines and open up new products. So that's a good thing. Lower rates, they kind of uh, keep the, the lending guidelines tighter. So I, I do think there is some sort of a bubble or potential pullback coming. When that's going to happen, I don't know. I mean, our inventory is significantly lower. We're still 21% off the peak here in Vegas. Um, however, it's still affordable, right? Like interest rates and lending's not out of out of hand. But you know, we'll see. I, I every now and then a Facebook post come across where they're doing the the, the stated income loans again. So you know, interesting times we're we're living in. But I think the next thirty six months we're still gonna have a good run. And the great thing is the the company that the We Buy Houses brand that we own. Um, any given day in Vegas, somebody's losing their house, transient job transfer whatever this is, death, whatever that situation is. So I think as long as we stay in front of those people, um, you know, it's, it's definitely a sustainable business. It's just where do you want to be or what do you want to be doing as far as holding, selling, you know, renting, so forth. I think uh, I want to ask you a bonus question because you are uh, very good, you and Janie, at using Facebook. And I think this day and age, a lot of business owners – are trying to figure out how to use Facebook. And I, I really think you guys have, have discovered those secrets because uh, for the viewers, uh, Travis and Janie have more followers on their Facebook page, I believe, than all the other We Buy Houses sites combined. And it's, it's been a focus for you guys and you've used Facebook a lot for your We Buy Houses marketing. Uh, 
in, in just you know 30 seconds what do you think the 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 thing is that you're doing what's the tip you'd give people about using facebook people get involved or people like engagement um so we just said well how can we just get people engaged in our business and at first we said hey sell us your house you know and spend a lot of money doing that it was a waste of time so what we started to do is just telling our story you know who we are what we do what we do on a daily business our daily basis you know making films um making little short videos of just crazy stuff you know cool stuff ugly stuff dr dramatic stuff and we started to build a following and now you know we're really starting to capitalize on that following i think we got 65 leads in the last I don't know, 50 or 64, actually 49. In the last 49 days, we've gotten 65 leads. So very, very powerful. But we have built, you know, a following of over 30,000 people. So uh, with that being said, I, I, we just started Facebook four years ago and, and worked at it daily and, and, and built a following. But when people can um, react to you and, and be friends with you, like Danny and I were at a breakfast restaurant um, probably a year a ago. celebrity in Vegas. And the girl, the waitress... <laughs> from another table kept walking by and then finally she walked up to me. She's like, are you the We Buy Houses guy? <laughs> I watch you all over. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I did it. It's like, you want an autograph? No. Um, but yeah, so Facebook is very, very powerful tool. Um, we've, we've spent a lot of money, six figure plus on, on Facebook, right? But it's definitely paid off and it's definitely working in our, in our market. Well, I think you just said something there. It's not, you do invest in Facebook. And so you put the time in to create this engaging content and then you put the money in to get that content to, to as many people as possible. You guys are masters at 30,000 followers you've built on that page in the four years since you. Yeah. Well, and that's just all Vegas audience, right? Like I, you know, obviously it'd be bigger if we went outside Vegas, but I don't want outside Vegas. I just want the people in Vegas. Right. Right. Well, Hey, I, I guess that's it for today. I just want to thank you guys for joining us and, and uh, for sharing your story and those little secrets about Facebook. I think that's very valuable. And one of the things that makes you guys special. So, uh, you. you, you are very successful and it's a pleasure to be associated with you and, and, uh, and to see how your clients, uh, the people that you work with, love you. It's visible on your Facebook page when you read the reviews that you don't, uh, you're not only successful, but the people that you do business with uh, appreciate the way that you engage with them. And so it's just a, it's a pleasure to have uh, you associated uh, with the We Buy Houses brand. And I'm glad the We Buy Houses brand has helped, helped you grow your business as well. So. Thank yeah, you for spending you guys. time with us uh, today. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we'll, we'll uh, sign off for now and maybe uh, tune in again and get a little bit more of your story again someday. So. All right. Thank All you right take care, Joe. Take care. Thanks for See joining you. us. Bye-bye. Wow. That was an amazing story. I mean, we're talking really about is. people that have doubled their business year over year. How, how, well, not only. It's already hard to In grow. Vegas. In Vegas. It's not, it's not just wow. anywhere. It's in Las Vegas. Just what a fantastic story. Incredible. And just Incredible. people that we love to be, yeah. as, as you heard, and uh, as I wrapped it up. It just with, shows you just love to be around them and have yeah, them as Yeah, I mean, they're, they're amazing. Houses. And just the, the power yeah. of the brand. I mean, But that just, is, guys, that's, if you want to know what makes a seek a, a successful investor uh, that you know there's a really good uh, look at what makes them that is a case study how they got to be someone that has taken the brand and run with it and had enormous success all right well hey they we look, are templates so. we look forward to the next one uh, it's a secret we're not going to yeah, tell you who no. the next one is but we'll be putting but out it'll be great ones. it'll be we good. want to introduce Guaranteed. you to some of the most Guaranteed. successful guys in the we buy house guys and gals and, in the we buy and these houses. are real these are real people by the way that you can go to google and make sure we're not giving you a bunch of people you know it's they're the real deal so Indeed. we don't play that all game. right well until next time that was secrets of successful investors episode one and we're out good stuff Anyhow.